Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're going to play The Sims 3. This is uh, the continuation of the Nick Taco series. I will just be calling this series the main series. It won't have a special abbreviation or anything like that. But anyway, uh, here we have two of our main characters, Bean Taco and Del Taco, the twin brother and sister uh, of Nick Taco. Also, um, that honking is coming from a carpool, which is over here. Okay, that's for Vanille. Just ignore that. Vanille, why aren't you going to work? Oh, she's already at work. <laughs> why is the car... You know, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to be playing as these two for right now, for today. Uh, sorry about the introduction videos being so dark. But The Sims 3 is really stupid, and you have to record it in windowed mode, otherwise the gameplay footage just looks abysmal. So I'm very sorry about that. That was very painful, probably, to look at, and I'm just very sorry about that. Hopefully things look better. Hopefully? Anyway, let's just get into the game. So we're going to try and get these two into university. That's our number one goal right now. Now, I did have a university basket somewhere around here, but I think it's gone now. <laughs> but that's okay. I think we can enroll into university from our phones, hopefully. Yeah, see? There you go. Enroll in university, enroll in university. So we're going to get them both into university and see what that's like. Okay, yes, we are sending both Bean and Dell in into college. For Dell, we will be going- I mean, for Bean, <laughs> we will be going into- You know what, I gotta look this up <laughs> to make sure <laughs> that I get him the right degree. And Dell can just be in physical education since she wants to be in the martial arts or whatever. She doesn't really have a career plan, but she does want to kick butt, so we'll do that for her. She's easy. Uh, looks like technology, maybe? Law enforcement? I think he wants to be in law enforcement, so... Yeah, technology. Okay, good thing I checked that. Hopefully that's correct. I honestly don't know, because I didn't look at Bean's lifetime wish just now, but you know what? It's fine. I, I'm pretty sure he wants to get into law enforcement. Some kind of branch in that, so... Yeah, we're gonna go for... Is that smart? Is that smart? Well, I want to do this as quickly as possible, so maybe... You know what? We'll start with 12. We'll start with 12. 12's a good number. Yeah. Two terms. Yeah, t two terms. That sounds good. That's basically a year in Sims lang lingo. So, yeah, that's yeah, that should be good. Dell's is a little bit cheaper. That's alright. We've got plenty of cash right now for that, so... Oh god, Dell, come back. No, now I have to do that again. Dang it. Why is Dell's... I don't even know. I think this is good. This is good. Technology, physical education, let's go. Are you sure you want these Sims to attend university? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think. God, I hope so. Alright, now what? They're leaving! They're traveling to the university. Okay, Vanille has left work. Vanille earned two dollars today, excuse me? <laughs> Vanille, um, we're gonna need a little bit more than that. Oh, she's still feeling betrayed because Nick cheated on her somehow. Okay. Here they go, guys. They're going off to college and only Dell is bringing a suitcase. Bean's just bringing the clothes on his back and nothing else. Okay. Anyway, okay, there they go in the moving van. Oh, wow, it's so realistic. Holy frick. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> oh, we finally loaded in. Jesus, that only took frickin' forever. My god, I'm trying to play Pokemon Go and it just, it won't even work. It won't even work. <laughs> it's just like, the screen is flickering on and off. I don't know why. Anyway, here we are at university. Woo! This looks not right. <laughs> right here, that, um, anyway. <laughs> so this is a little bit different from how The Sims 2 University works out, but I think it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference, really, the main difference, is that you come home after two weeks, and then you can decide whether or not to re-enroll. And, uh, yeah, so in that way it's kind of, like, realistic, almost. It's more realistic. 
In The Sims 2, you kind of just stay at university until you either drop out or graduate. <laughs> There's no going home. You're stuck there. <laughs> that is your home. For four years. <laughs> Let's pick out a dorm. This is very important. Do we want a little hat? What is this? What is this tiny little speck? Oh, look at that. This looks like the dorm I'm looking for. <laughs> Are you sure you want to live here? <laughs> wow, that looks like the place where I should put Bean and Dell. It looks it looks so familiar, guys. Do you see that? Does it look familiar to you? It looks familiar to me. Anyway, let's rent that out. I'm ready to play. Okay, hopefully we don't have to spend another five minutes oh god oh geez what happened the grocery store has started selling fireworks oh my god it's fourth of july <laughs> okay we have so much in common who the frick are you get away from my sister <laughs> says bean welcome to university check out the academics panel to monitor your academic progress during the term okay i'm looking at it we got technology uh it's the weekend right now that's nice class starts in a day it's actually a really good thing that we're starting this on a Sunday, because, um, I'd like to actually take a tour of the place, look around, explore, make some friends before I have to work constantly until I die. Okay, our responsibilities are to attend class, study, exams, and skills. So, you- Bean needs to do handiness and logic, whereas, um, Dell needs to do, uh, athletics, and also working with the an anatomic skeleton. So, do you have one of those now? Yes. Them bones. Yep, okay. That's good. So, what's your class schedule look like, Dell? On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you go to these two buildings. And on Tuesday and Thursday, you only have one class. Very realistic. Very realistic. Bean, what about you? Same, same kind of deal. Okay. I'm assuming their schedule will- their schedules will differ, um, maybe next term? I don't know. Or maybe since they enrolled at the same time, it'll be the same no matter what. I don't know. But anyway, let's check out the dorm. So, this dorm, as you can see, is a direct copy of the dorm that we had in The Sims 2. Well, there's some added additions, of course. I mean, I don't believe this was in The Sims 2, unless it was. Or this area, you know, the parking lot area. I think those are additions. I think this- Lake? No, I think we did have the lake at one point, with the triplets. Yeah, anyway, this is pretty much an exact replica of the dorm we had in The Sims 2. Uh, we have the love room. It's looking a little less, uh, romantic, but, you know, it's still there. We got- we got the woohoo room. <laughs> we have a bunch of easels just, you know, out here. We got our little weird party room that had a TV in it, I think, but I didn't put a TV in. I just put this stereo. Over here we got our game room, which I think only had a pool table, but now it has a foosball table and some chairs. Wow. Downstairs- I don't know why we start at the roof, but whatever. Downstairs we just have these small little dorms. Uh, it just- it looks so familiar. And here, this was Nick's room. You remember? That was Nick's room in the corner there. I think that'll be Bean's room. Uh, for this Let's Play. We got a bunch of computers, the computer lab, we got a TV. Oh, oh, it's just- it's bringing back so many memories. Remember when we had a Christmas tree here and it lit on fire and the fireman came and I wanted to be his friend and he left me? I remember that. I think his name was Mitch. I can't remember for sure, though. And wow, Nick finished the semester with a high enough spot. Great. Snag spot on the coveted dean's list. Great work. Good job, Nick. I'm so proud of you. You always do the best. Wait a minute. What's happening? What's ha- Oh my god, the, tri the Christmas tree's on fire! The Christmas tree is on fire! Don't stand near that. Don't stand near that. Run. Just run. Just go. I ain't extinguishing that. Go. Run. Run. Call the fire station. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. It's not- it's the only place that's not underneath the god dang sprinkler. Nobody touch it! No, Nick! Stay outside! Stay outside! Don't even go back in there, Nick! Ah! I'm running around in circles! Carolina, don't get hurt! Okay. Okay, the fire's okay. Nick- Chandler's just in the bathroom playing with his ball again. <laughs> I- no- Wait, I was gonna tip you, though. Don't leave yet. Aww. But Mitch, we could have been friends, Mitch. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> Remember when I think her name was Carolina or something similar to that? She was the cafeteria lady and she hated us, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh no, there's a fire. There's a fire. Oh, it went out. <laughs> there was no reason to freak out, guys. It's just a little fire. Carolina didn't even care. She just blew on it. She was like, <sighs> and it went away. <laughs> she was like, eh, fire. <laughs> she cares about the sprinklers, though. She's like, I hate being wet. Ah, my hair, even though it's protected by a hat. Oh, and in this hallway, in this hallway right here, Nick tried to get a mistletoe kiss from Melanie, and it didn't work because she didn't like him in that way. I can't knock on her door. Oh, wait, I can just go in here. I can just go into her room and invade her privacy. Go do that, Nick. Hey, I'm here. How are you? I'm gonna go stand under this, and you better come with me. Oh. Hey! Aw, she locked the door. No! Holiday kiss with Chris? Excuse me, that's not what I wanted. Why are you doing that, Nick? She's not even coming. She's too busy enjoying her pancakes, Nick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but she turned you down. Is she even your friend? No, she's not. Why would you want her to... You know what? I don't get you, Nick. I don't get you at all. I don't understand. <laughs> hey, Melanie. How are you doing? Look at that. Look, it's, it's that. Okay. Oh. Oh. You got rejected. I'm sorry, Nick. Okay. Bye, Melanie. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for you, Nick. <laughs> Maybe it would have worked with Chris. I don't know. Maybe that's why he called her over and not, not Melanie. Aww. <laughs> oh, oh, Nick got friend zone. That's so sad. I thought she was coming back. No, she just going to the bathroom. Okay, Nick. I'm sorry. Your life is over. God, this place brings back so many memories. Remember all the times the triplets, like, struggled to fight over these bathrooms? Because there's only, like, two or three bath. No, there's four bathrooms in here, but they still fought over them because there were so many sims in this area. Man, good times. Good times. But anyway, Bean, how about you get this room? And Dell, you can get this room. They're right next to each other. They're upstairs. And it's right where Nick used to be, so... Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Set bed ownership to the Bean and Dell. And I think we'll also lock these rooms, so yeah. Specify Sim, Bean. Specify Sim, Dell. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Actually, let's just, let's just let them both be able to open the doors. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. I'm sure we're gonna get we're gonna get roommates soon, but uh, right now let's just enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, and out here, out here was where Mark proposed to Abby, I think, and I don't remember if Abby rejected him or not. Break up with him! Come on, we gotta get a divorce. <laughs> Wait, we're not even married yet. <laughs> just give me that ring back, and I'll give it to Mark. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I telling him to get the frick out? <laughs> Get out of the dorm. <laughs> you don't belong here anymore. Like, you guys didn't live together. <laughs> I mean, you live together, but you're living in the same dorm. What is this? Who is this? Hey, Rick and his river. Who are you? Whatever, sure. All right, well, they've broken up. Um, I feel bad, because Andre's obviously heartbroken, but then again, he's Andre, so I don't think that um, <laughs> it'll matter in the end. <laughs> Okay, uh, they're still best friends forever, though. <laughs> she is in love with Mark, and she's not in love with Andre anymore. And Andre and Kenya, I mean Sadie, <laughs> are kind of doing well right now. So I'm just gonna have uh, these two get together. Uh, Mark doesn't really care about anything right now. He's over here eating something. Go propose engagement to Mark. <laughs> Yeah, now she's the one who's gonna propose engagement. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is very rushed. I, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> whatever. Who cares? I just broke up with Andre. Please date me. <laughs> oh yes, of course. Even though this whole entire love triangle thing was just a bunch of BS and. 
<laughs> Whatever, no, none of it mattered in the end. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mark is class an hour. Okay, bye, Mark. <laughs> go off to class. <laughs> right after he gets engaged, he just has to go to class. I don't know why the floor looks like Minecraft. Um. Anyway, yeah, there, there was that. That happened. Anyway. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's decorate our little dorms. Here, you can have a spooky poster. Let's hope that we remember to grab our stuff before we're forced to go back home. There's your backpack. I guess you can wear your backpack. You can keep that. There's your textbook. What is this thing? You probably should keep that on you. Okay, well, you guys don't really have any decorations, and that's kind of sad. Let's, uh, maybe decorate a little? Color a bit? We've got a little bit of cash here somehow, so... Yeah, let's make things a little fancy. Dell, how would you like some skulls? A uh, <laughs> pirate theme? It, or I, I mean, Del, Del's obviously a pirate. <laughs> Del does like uh, pink. She does like color. In her stuff, anyway. Not really in her own appearance. <laughs> okay, that, that looks nice. That looks nice. Now to just change the bedding, because it looks gross as frick. And there we go, we have a nice bed. Let's make this a lighter color as well. Perfect. So Bean, as I've mentioned in the introduction video, Bean likes dinosaurs. So I think we'll just make it dinosaurs. <laughs> I'll make the pillow green, because why not? Bean likes the color green. I think. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think Bean's favorite color is yellow, actually, but whatever. Okay, you know what? We don't have a light red, so I'm just gonna take this red and lighten it. Perfect. There. Now to get them each a chair and maybe a computer or a laptop or something, I think that'd be real nice. We can get them this simple chair here. Okay, I don't like those chairs. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them. Alright, you can have that chair because it goes with that desk. And you can have that chair. It goes a little bit better. And each of them can have a little... La Actually, this is a very expensive laptop. Let's get the cheaper one. Thank you. Here you go, Dell. And here you go, Bean. There, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'd say. What do, what do you want? Move into a high-rise built- No, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening, Dell. Visit China. Okay, sure. Um, no, we're not going to a graveyard. <sighs> okay, yes, we can become friends with someone. That's doable. Alright, now that I've claimed these rooms, hopefully nobody will mess with them. Let's go make friends and stuff. See, I told you Bean's favorite color was yellow. We can fish. Wow. You think people are gonna, like, move in? Because I, I sure hope they do. Oh, look, we're going in now. Wow. Where did- where's Bean go? I mean, Del. Where's Del going? Del? Okay. Del gave up. <laughs> she couldn't figure out how to get inside. My social's going down so fast. Why? Well, yours is down, too. Misunderstood. Why, oh, why can't other sims understand you? It gets much worse still. If it gets much worse, Del will need to brood? Okay. Del, hold on, chill out. Holy frick, what the frickin' it's thunderstorming out there. What are you doing, Bean? Playing computer games. Okay, that's fine. What are you doing? Checking out the new object. You need to relax, okay? You need to relax. Let's go somewhere, because obviously the dorm is just not ready yet. So how about we go to um, the... The student union building. How about we go here? Go here together. Maybe we can meet some people. Meet some other students. Because apparently no one is coming here. Which is kind of sad. Oh! Never mind. People are here. Oh god. Who are you? Seriously, who are you? We have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. We have so much in common. I'd love to get it. Can everyone stop hitting on Dell? <laughs> Stop! Why is there so much? Oh, and they're for Bean, too. One was for Bean. Another for Dell. Another for Bean. Okay, alright. There's a cell at the Night Owl Foods. 
Oh, okay. We need to go grocery shopping. That's for sure. Hold up. Okay, forget going to the place. Apparently our roommates are here, so let's just go down the list. Who are our roommates? Uh, this is... Oh god, everyone spawned into each other. Oh. Oh god, can y'all, um, maybe move out? Oh god. Oh. Oh god, that's creepy. Okay, um, also, I better not forget about this board. I should... I hope I can move it. Can I move it? Because it needs to be... No? Okay. I guess I can't move it. But I wish I could put it, like, here or something. Okay. Alright, now that our roommates have spread out a little bit, let's go look at them. So we have Jolene here. Jolene Siegel. She is one of our roommates. Dean looks like he already wants to meet her. Yeah, he's already going to her, brightening her day. Okay. Uh, who's next? Jerry. We got Jerry Wheeler here. He looks kind of concerned. He, I don't like his eyes, actually. <laughs> Jerry, you okay there? Jerry, you look a little worried. Okay, okay. He looks fine now. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, but that's Jerry. He's a jock. Oh, I forgot about the clicks. Okay, he's a jock. We got Leonard, a nerd. He also kind of looks like he might be a vampire, or maybe he's just pale. I can't really tell. But here we go. We got Leonard. Oh yeah, he is a vampire. He's got the bite. Cool. Nice Nyan cat shirt. He looks a lot like Bean. And I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> Next we have Cade, another nerd. Uh, a female. Okay. So there's Cade. She looks nice. She looks friendly. She's about to fall into the pond, but that's okay. We got Sylvia over here. She looks nice. Friendly, possibly. She's a re Oh, she's a rebel. Oh, that's not good. Okay. And last but not least, we have Harold, who is both a jock and a nerd. Okay. All right, let's get to know them. He kind of looks like Leon Kennedy. <laughs> okay, well, Bean already wants to meet her. Del wants to listen to that guy who looks like her brother and is a vampire. Okay, let's focus on Bean right now. He is brightening up Jolene's day. Somebody is screaming in the distance. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. What? <laughs> what? Hold, excuse me. First of all, we just met. Second of all, what do you mean you don't care what anyone else thinks? Are you saying I'm ugly? <laughs> Are you saying other people think I'm ugly and you don't? I already want to skate on a pond. Apparently, Bean's already just found his soulmate. He thinks she's attractive. He, they, she likes him. He likes her. Okay. Well, I wasn't planning on getting Bean a girlfriend like right off the bat. In fact, I was like planning on rolling a die to even see what kind of sexuality to give these two people, but you know what? I guess Bean just likes this girl, so I guess we're just gonna go with that. Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but all right. We want to skate on a pond. I want to meet a vampire. Well, there's a vampire here, so that's good. I also want to build a snowman, but you know what? There's no snow, really, and it's summer, so I don't think it's possible. <laughs> I also don't think this is possible because it's, it's summer, <laughs> but I'll meet the vampire. <laughs> She really likes me. Apparently we've got great chemistry. Okay, that's fine. I suppose Jolene is gonna be, uh, possibly Bean's girlfriend. Oh, uh, we're going inside to check out the new object. Okay, where'd Del go? Del's looking out the window. Del, no, you have to meet people. Meet a nerd. Okay, we'll meet a nerd and we'll meet a vampire. Actually, we can do, uh, both of those at the same time, because Leonard is both. Uh, friendly introduction. Oh. I'm a loner, so I hate talk. Just do it anyway. Just do it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, Dell's going to talk to Leonard. Now she wants to gain enough nerd influence to join the social group. She wants to become a nerd. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Well, sorry, Leonard, but I really don't think you're the same. Because, um, first of all, you look a bit too much like my brother. <laughs> and second of all... You're a vampire. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that at all. <laughs> I guess I do want to become friends with him, though, because I do want to become a nerd, so... I guess we're gonna have to be nice to him. Let's boast about gamer skills. Do all the nerd socials. Are there any other nerd social? No. Ask about age, sure. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, he's a vampire. 
back to Bean. Bean, what are you doing? You're checking out the new object. No, 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 no. How about you, a friendly introduction with this guy? Because you also need to meet a vampire. That's one of your wants. So, yeah, well, I guess we're both going to be friends with this guy who looks a bit like Bean. Can you lift your head up, please? I want to see how close you look, uh, how similar you two look. Can you both look over here for something? Please? Okay, you're looking at each other. Um. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, Bean looks a little worried here. He looks a little concerned. Leonard looks really creepy. <laughs> this is odd. They could be brothers. I I suppose they're slightly different. <laughs> okay, where did that girl go? I want to go talk to her some more. Why is he freaking out? I don't know. Look, how about you go, uh, good. Ask about day. Yeah. Just go chat with her. Make a friend, okay? Del, what? Oh, you're talking to Harold now. Okay. Oh, oh no. You need to brood. That's not good. <laughs> Del has some pretty heavy stuff to work through. It's gonna be hard to get anything accomplished until she can start to figure the, out this thing called life. Okay, how about you brood for a bit? Go contemplate the meaning of meaning. Alright? How about you do that for a bit? You're gonna be fine. Bean, how are you doing? He's just over here talking to... Jolene. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. People are sitting on these couches and reading. That's what they did in The Sims 2, man. It's so nice to be back in this world. Um, why is Sylvia telling Harold a ghost story and why is he actually being scared? <laughs> Harold, you're like 20 or something. Chill out. I doubt the story can be that scary. <laughs> Do we have a Carolina? No, I don't think you get a cafeteria lady, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well, what can you do? Alright, back to Dell. Um, you're still contemplating the meaning of meaning? I think you can stop. Apparently you're having fun while doing that? You're thinking about the chicken and the egg? Don't do that. Okay, so what are the things that we have to do? Do we have homework or something? No, we just have the study. Okay. What we need to do is skill up, study. I guess there is no homework. That's great. How about you go work out in the middle of the room? That sounds like something a loner would do, right? Someone who hates socialization. Yeah, I think she would just start working out in the middle of the room. <laughs> I mean, where else is she gonna work out? All right, everyone, I hope you weren't interested in watching anything because I'm going to work out. Oh yeah, and that's Dell's athletic wear. It doesn't look like athletic wear, but it is. It's her athletic wear. <laughs> Alright, Bean's just talking about the rain. This girl is definitely trying to get with Harold. I can see that happening. The university meet and greet is starting at the student unit. Oh my god, we gotta go there. We gotta go now. Oh, we're already going. Okay. I don't have to worry. That's good. But it's a shame I'm not going to consider her attractiveness right now. I have to go to the stupid student union thing. Oh well, I can do it later. We'll figure out if Bean has found a soulmate later. <laughs> Bean, where did you get a bike? You do not have a bike. Oh uh, well, whatever. Dell also has a bike? Okay. I guess we just got free bikes. That's cool. Okay, we're going to the student union, running in the rain. Oh, God. Okay, we're here! Bean Taco was just invited to a party. I would not call this a party. This is this would be a very sad party. <laughs> Kip, Harley... Oh, wait! Somebody did invite us to a party. Cool. Who the heck are you? You're not one of my roommates. But, sure, man. We can go. Oh, I have to play. Invited Bean to a sweet juice kegger party. Is Bean ready to party down? Sunday at 6 p.m.? That's in about five hours. Location, 736 President's Drive. Um, okay, I'll be there. And... Is this... Wasn't the last one for being... Uh, whatever. They'll both be there. Alright, so first things first, we should definitely get some freebies. Take a university poster, a kicky bag, flying disc, soda, a candy bar... Del, come on, you gotta take advantage of this. Get all the stuff, please. 
Okay, there. First of all, get the freebies. Second of all, we can meet some more people. We got Jake over here, a rebel. And we have Sasha, a nerd and jock combo. She's got cool hair. And over here we got the school mascots, Brendan. Yeah, I think. Cool, and oh, we got another guy over here. Clark, a nerd. All right, get free item from vending machine. Oh, there's an upstairs. I didn't even notice that. Okay, what's up here? Vending machines. All right, and you're going to play pool. There's a pool table. What do you mean there's a pool table? <gasps> Did I miss it in the game section? Wow. Or is it only on this lot? I don't know, but that's amazing. There's also some arcade machines over here, and Francis Parks is over there. We got another game table here. This is a cool spot. Oh, and there's even a lady selling coffee and snacks? Slice of cake? Heck yeah. Alright, that's cool. We'll, we'll be sure to get some food before we leave, in case the party food sucks. Alright, what do you want? Attend a party. Yeah, we're going to, don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing, Bean. Congratulations, Sasha. I don't care about Sasha. I'm playing a zombie video game. Well, that's cute. <laughs> All right, Bean, you enjoy that. Where's Dell? Dell's over here playing pool by herself. Was kind of hoping to make more friends, but it doesn't seem like anybody wants to talk to us up here. That's a bit of a shame. Dell, why don't you invite someone to play with you? Hmm? How about uh, this dude, Jake? He's a celebrity. Okay, never mind. Let's not even talk to him. <laughs> Can we ask this guy to join? No, call over. Maybe maybe that'll work. I I don't know. I kind of just want someone to play pool with. All right. Bean's still playing a video game. Uh oh, look at that. The elders using a cane. I miss canes. So immersive. Okay, go make friends with the old lady. Dell has called over the guy and he is actually coming. Oh, we have so much in common. Please stop flirting with my children, please. <laughs> okay, you know what? Don't talk to that lady. She's creepy. Go talk to the mascot. Maybe you can become a mascot. Wouldn't that be fun? I just sneezed on this guy. That's not a very good impression. Uh, look, friendly introduction. I know you hate it, but just do it anyway. Oh, I found her soulmate, apparently. They found each other. <laughs> I appreciate sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. What are you talking about? What new craft? I don't know what's happening. Apparently, Be Del just found her soulmate. Try for a baby. <laughs> How about no? Why can't I already kiss him? What is happening? <laughs> okay. Alright. Hold on. How about you ask about his major first, alright, before you go around trying to fall in love and kiss people? Uh, boast about your gamer skills, definitely. Just, just chat with him. Just be friendly, okay? Just be friendly. Get to know him. That'd be good. He is in the business major. He's a business major. Okay. Being a nerd is all about winning via superior knowledge. Okay. Oh, he became a nerd. I mean, she became a nerd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? School pride. Okay. Where did Del Bean go? I mean, <laughs> Del Bean. <laughs> Dang it, the naming thing's already happening. Okay, how about you go play with the mascot, okay? Go, go friendly introduction. You didn't friendly introduction. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna need to eat and pee in a second. Okay, friendly. Just chat with him. Talk about... The, oh, consider attractiveness. Definitely do that. Alright, hey, university mascot. Nerd. No, I don't need to do any of that. Friendly, get to know. Get to know this guy. Shakabra. Sounds good to me. Clark thinks Dell is being friendly. Brendan sees that Bean is bored. <laughs> Sorry, bo Bean gets bored easily, man. Alright, there we go. Okay. 
Ask for mascot training, yes. Dell finds Clark Grant blindingly stunning. Rank 10 of 10. Alright, cool. I will do everything in my power to get you two together then. Since apparently he is a 10 out of 10. How about you joke about professors and uh, get to know him some more. Alright. Alright, what are you doing over here? Ask for mascot training. Alright, it's about 4 p.m. We gotta get to that party soon, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see where that is as soon as I'm done trying to get... Oh, apparently he doesn't like me enough. I'm sorry, I don't know you well enough to train you in the ways of the mascot. Well, that sucks. Chat, brighten day, apologize. Get to know. Do all that. Alright. Dell's being amusing. Yeah, tell him, uh, show him some internet cat videos. Everyone loves that. That's a real big turn on. Alright, anyway, let's try and find this party. Where is the party? The party is happening somewhere. I don't know where. Is it happening here? 749 president? Oh, right here. Alright, so we're gonna go over here after we're done talking. Oh, that girl's wearing a backpack. So realistic. Alright, uh, Brendan thinks Bean is being awkward. Dang it, Bean. <laughs> I'm not trying to be awkward. Alright, guess I gotta leave now. Receive text from Kip. Yeah, Kip is trying to tell us about the party. Being part of the nerd group has its advantages, and they've shown Del Taco a hack to unlock the ability, the ability to play online on game consoles. Wow, and we have a game console. The nerds gave me a game console in my family inventory, so it's not going to be in my regular inventory. Nope. Alright, Bean, are you going to the party? Yes, go attend the party, come on. Hurry up. Del's already on her way, and I don't even think she was invited. You got two invitations. D D Bean. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> skip class? Already you want to skip class? What's wrong with you? <laughs> a dare has been issued. It's been too long since the last time you were juiced. Find a juice keg and get drinking and don't stop till you are super juiced? Well, sure, I mean, why not? <laughs> I guess we we're gonna skip class on our first day. <laughs> no, we're not gonna skip on the first day. We might skip the second day. Because, come on, it's the first day. Kip has a juice kegger starting soon. Dell attended, Bean attended. Somebody's already leaving. <laughs> We're gonna wear our party outfits. Okay, no, you gotta go pour the juice. Come on. Why is there just laundry? Piles of laundry lying on the floor. That is not what you want to see when you go to a college party. Alright, go pour juice. You gotta keep pouring juice until you're super juiced. Meet Jake? Salmon? Okay. Whatever you say, man. Okay, what are you doing? You're playing table tennis with somebody already. Hold up, before you do that, maybe you should go to the bathroom. Yeah, you should go to the bathroom and find a fridge or something. Where's the food in this place? This is a nice house. Well, aside from the giant piles of laundry. Oh, wait, who's naked? What? Leonard is naked? <laughs> Why? Okay, just have a quick meal. Why? Virgin pineapple juice requires fruit. Oh my god, you guys don't have any groceries? What's wrong with you? This is a party, you're supposed to have food. There's two people streaking. Who's the other guy streaking? That would be... Harold! <laughs> Harold and Leonard are here and they're streaking? Oh my god, a third person streaking. Jerry is also in on the streaking. Oh my god. Alright, drink until you're super juiced. Come on, you gotta keep drinking. Keep, keep drinking. What is this? Complete term with an A grade. I will try, Del. I seriously will try. But this is gonna be very difficult. <laughs> oh god, more people are streaking. People are just running around naked. What kind of weird party is this? Jolene. Oh, Bean's, uh, interest is running around naked. That's great. <laughs> Bean, what are you doing? You're attending a bar. Okay, that's not what you should be doing. You should be finding food. Actually, maybe you can eat that candy bar that's in your... bag. Learn mixology skill. No, we're not doing that. But your sister is getting juiced right now. Bean Taco did not enjoy the chunky nougat surprise. Oh, that's not good. 
Why didn't you enjoy the chunky nougat surprise? At least it filled you up a little. Alright, you also need to use the bathroom and eat a nougat bar. Alright, good. The juice actually does uh, fill her up a little bit. Alright, maybe do a keg stand. Uh, with Bean, of course. That's the only person you trust. <laughs> Kip, Jeffrey. Kip and Jeffrey are doing a keg stand already. Dang it, man, I was gonna do that. I keep thinking that's Bean, and it's not. It's it's Leonard. <laughs> like, Bean, why are you running around naked? I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> oh, you're nauseous from the candy bar. Really, from the candy bar and not the, the juice? Okay, alright. Bean, where are you? Trying to do a keg stand here. Help with keg stand. Well, you don't seem to be doing that right now, Bean. You're over here. Away from the party. <laughs> Refill the keg. Do keg stand with Bean. Here we go, here we go. Can you guys, like, get out of my way, please? Please and thank you. I'm trying to do a keg stand here. Harold, you're in my way. In fact, everyone is in my way. Okay, let's just move the keg stand. Oh, never mind. See, I thought I could build and buy on this lot. No, I could not. <laughs> Alright, let's just try again. Bean, please. I need to get juiced. It's part of a dare. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I did not expect this to be happening on their first day at university. Oh, if your father and mother could see you now, they'd be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm super juiced. <laughs> Dell is kicking things up a notch. Watch out. Nice. Dare completed. The things I do for a dare. Okay, we need to go to sleep because it's getting late and we're tired and we have school in the morning. So let's go home. Find a keg and do a keg stand. Okay, never mind. Apparently Bean wants to do a dare with a keg stand, so let's go ahead and quickly do that before we leave. <laughs> Alright, Del, come on. Now you gotta do it to Bean. <laughs> oh my god, she can actually lift him. Alright, here we go! <laughs> hey, Kip. Why are you guys laughing? Alright, let's get out of here. Bean has completed the dare. He earned some jock influence skill. I don't know why he wanted that, but you know what? Whatever. Let's go home. We gotta go home because uh, it's late and we gotta go to bed. We have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Excuse me! <laughs> No thanks. I need to leave. No, Del, stop throwing up in the toilet. That comes later. Go home now, please. Alright, we're home. How nice. Go take a shower, a brooding shower, sure. And go to sleep. I think Dean, Bell, Del, Dean, Bean. <laughs> Going through the whole list of names. He's already asleep. <laughs> yeah, he's asleep. Alright, that's fine. You quickly take a shower and then go to bed. You want more nerd stuff. Okay, that's fine. You're not gonna meet Jake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, their first day of college completed. What exciting times. Unfortunately, as much as I want to continue playing, I really can't because I got something to do in the morning. Gotta wake up early and stuff, like earlier than usual. I gotta wake up at 6 a.m. instead of 7 a.m., so I better go to bed, or otherwise I'm going to be kicking myself later. But uh, before I go, let me just hang up these little posters and, uh, you know, make their room look a little nicer. Oh, they're different. That's nice. All right. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time, guys. I hope you all enjoyed our first episode with Bean and Dell. Or maybe it was the second episode because, you know, I, I'm going to cut these into parts. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode if one exists. Bye.